Yeah, I'ma do shit my way out on the road fam looking for my race Why would I pay to you on the pound for homegrown yeah when I only smoke high grade Top of the game, you're a lightweight, everyone seem to stand back when I spray So we ain't gonna stop till the pub might pay no way, whatever them waste man say It's easy with a breezy, swear down, not for the gas, talk you the big man then what's all the chat for? If it was me, I'd wait till the start, no, I'd get Jimmy Dan to come through your back door Can't spit bullets, but that's what I max for, ain't got one, but it's something I can grasp of When I get it, it's black, that's all I'm doing, that's all you get Well, according to the government there is no poverty. But have a look around you. No comment, Josh. Shut up, you, you fucking. Get back in jail. <laughs> um, you'll get no fucking south south of these pair of bastards. Uh, poverty in Britain, there's always been poverty in Britain. There always will be. And no one's ever going to change that. Unless, you know, people start thinking and questioning what's going on around them. It doesn't mean nothing, it doesn't make me feel about anything. Just, it's just that, isn't it? Poverty is your area or the people that you live with. You can just see like people walking around with just cans in their hands when all the clothes are all fucked but still got money for beer and that. Or people that have got a dead shit house but dead nice on the inside because you've looked after it. Like, it's, it's two ways about it. Poverty is like what people on benefits are living in. Uh, people homeless. Um, People aren't doing very well for themselves because of whatever reason. Um, obviously, it's a struggle for people in poverty day to day. Try and make something of themselves. And poverty exists when you, you can't feed your children, when, you, when you've got to make a stark choice between feeding your children or paying your rent, paying your mortgage or risk being evicted. Just the other day, I was with a friend of mine who runs a food bank. We're in 21st century Britain, for crying out loud. Why do we need a food bank? Why should we have one? These are not scroungers, these are not people milking the system. These are people who are genuinely hungry. In 21st century Britain, one of the richest nations in the world, and people need a food bank. Get it fucking sorted. Well, let's look at the Houses of Parliament. House of Commons, House of Lords. And that's when you're at the fucking top. Where are you when you're at my level? Of course there's a class system. Britain's always had a class system. Thrives on it, right? Most of British heritage, right, that everybody's proud about. Oh, let's go sightseeing around London or around Britain. Class system? It's right in your fucking face. Don't mean nothing. There's just loads of classes, isn't there? Obviously, you've got the ones that are above you that are making all the money that's nice, don't have to worry about it, it's no stress, no drama. You've got the working class people that may be just working nine to five just to keep their house going or feed the kids. And then you've got people on benefits that get loads of free money just to get fucking off the face. I mean, either way, it's scum. Thatcher and Tebbit said they wanted a classless society and then went all out to go the other way. Cameron, he doesn't even pretend that, he doesn't care. The son of a millionaire wants us to be kowtowing to him. And he wouldn't mind if there was a class, there's no altruism anymore like there used to be in the Victorian days with people like Wedgwood and Cal Cadbury's where they, they treat people properly and got the best out of them. Now it's basically do as I say because I've got money and if you don't do it I'll withdraw the money from you. Well, it was my bloody money in the first place. And if I didn't have put my labour in, if I didn't give you my creativity, you'd have made nothing, your family would have made nothing. There's them and there's you. And you and me and him and these mean fuck all. We're fodder. Britain's whole thing is about the class system. You know? We've had the Queen's Jubilee this year. Talk about class system. How much do fucking taxpayers' money pay for that? Oh, I'm so proud to be British. Fantastic. Look at our history. Look at our heritage. Yeah, you'll fucking pay for it, mug. I can breathe and I think and I feel like anyone. I have memory and emotion and I sleep when day is done. I argue and I laugh and I'm sad and then I'll cry. But rational and logic just don't seem to apply when I'm treated like a number. Oh, there has to be a cure to the rules that say I'm just a unit of expenditure. If I'm cut, then I bleed, and if damaged, I can mend. I'm not rigid in my views, and I know just when to bend. I'm not radical, nor full of hate, longing to abuse. I know what I've learned, I don't like to be confused. Explanations I can take just so I can be sure of the rules that make me just a unit of expenditure. Like the classes has broken Britain, don't we? Um, it's not that we don't want work, we haven't got, there's not the jobs out there. We haven't, we haven't had the opportunities to work. I mean, if there was enough jobs out there, I'd, I'd, I bet you'd find near enough, all, most of the people on benefits would be off benefits and working. We keep hearing about broken Britain. Well, I didn't break it. 
You didn't break it. It's been broken because it's been dropped and it's been trodden on. It's been trodden on by people at the top who are laughing the fact that it's broken. But they're blaming me for it. And they're blaming you for it. Nobody did that except them. So all this myth that you read in the papers and you see on TV and you hear the government, we've got to make change, we've got to stop this uh, benefit culture. The benefit culture has been created by them and they'll find somebody who's, say, obviously been, you know, fiddling the benefits, find an extreme case, make it sound more extreme, then everybody looks at everybody who's on benefits as some sort of cheat. But then, come on, let's look at the politicians. That's taxpayers' money as well. Where they're claiming for bog rolls, setting houses, this, that and the other. Then fuckers get away with it. If you've got like a better background, then you're surrounded by different opportunities, aren't you? If you're surrounded by better people, you've got the better opportunities. But if you're surrounded by people like yourselves that are just living in your community, like the shit areas, and you're not, are you still? You're around the same people day in, day out. The best opportunity you get is like, oh, do you want to sell this for me? Do you want to do a bit of work like that, you know what I mean? That's our opportunities. Middle class families, like the family's probably a bit better connected uh, to like people within the job industries, and um, probably find it's a lot easier to find a job, uh, especially if, like if you haven't got a criminal record or anything. Then people look at you totally different, like do you know what I mean. Whereas like someone like myself that's got a criminal record, just take one look at you, see you know what I mean. Tattoos prejudge you straight away. If you put nothing in, you'll get nothing out. I run an allotment and I love my allotment, but if I don't prepare the ground properly to grow this crop and, I'll, and the ground properly there to grow that crop, then what's going to happen is I'm going to get poor crop. They're not preparing the ground. If you don't prepare the ground, you're going to end up with nothing. Is that what we want? Is that what Cameron and his cronies want? Sounds like it to me. You've got to give people opportunities. You've got to give them opportunity to work, to shine, to be creative, to actually live and not simply exist. That now and again you'll get one person who's lived that life, who suddenly gets in, I'm going to do something. He's got a chance. But most of them just sit and accept it. And it's a tragedy because out of poverty, you get your best rebels, you get your best legends, you get your best heroes. Yeah? Well, let's be honest, how many heroes have come from an upper class totty family in the wall? Not many. Down.